Hi guys, and welcome to yet another episode of Liverpool Career Mode here on FIFA 18. Yes, well, what about the last episode? Yeah, I didn't think it was going to be that exciting, and it ended up being pretty exciting, so I'm not going to say that anymore. I'm just basically tune in and see what happens like to each episode. Right, so for this one, we are starting off with um, West Brom, uh, followed then by um, Champions League group match against Monaco, another Premier League game then against Brighton, and and after our exploits in the Carabao Cup and beating Chelsea, have a guess who we have now got in the next round. Yes, we have been drawn against Arsenal, so it just gets easier and easier. No, it was obviously it was going to be a tough one. There's some big teams still left in this competition. Um, but we're into the quarterfinals and, you know, we expect to play like these teams. And if we want to win it, we've got to beat them. So we're finishing off today's episode with Arsenal. And then the next episode is actually going to be starting with Chelsea. So there we go. Um, but yeah, Arsenal is going to be finishing off today's episode, guys. Um, right, so without further ado, let's get into the West Brom game. But um, like before I do, though, um, I was querying, obviously, why um, Stefan De Bruy was unhappy, um, if, you, if you recall from the last video. Now... Lex says that the best way to find out why he's unhappy is not to go to that, is to go to um, search players and um, you have to do it that way. So you search for his name, which is uh, De Bruy, there it is, Stefan De Bruy, and it should say why he's unhappy. So if we click on him, he's disappointed at his lack of matches, apparently. Um, okay, um, <laughs> he pretty much plays every match except for maybe Carabao Cups and FA Cups, I mean, um, yeah, that's a, definite a weird one there, disappointed at his lack of matches, it's also a bit weird that you have to search for your own player to find out what's up with him rather than just have like something that's on his like information thing or whatever um again another little thing that ea could have fixed but yeah um if we want a, a video on why ea about it making this game then that'll go on for hours and hours but anyway like guys like i say we are up against um West Brom, and this is the side that I'm going to put out. And as you can see, yes, Stefan De Bruyne is playing. <laughs> but yeah, so the back four is pretty much as it is. Obviously, with Pereira out injured, Alexander Arnold is going to always be there. And then we've got Saul, Keita, and Mbappe in the mid, with Williams, Griezmann, and Pulisic up front. A little bit of a change up there. Just thought I'd give some players a bit of a run out um, as well. So here we go, then, guys. So after my mistakes of last time uh, we're at Anfield yes we're not in Switzerland or in the Midlands with West Brom we're at Anfield yes I was a complete idiot when it comes to that <laughs> but there you go it's a long ball forward here I'm just gonna let this go out yeah here's Burke now there's a good chance here for West Brom he's pulled this back it's a great opportunity there for West Brom and now Van Dijk will clear this up plays it to Horn and into Stefan de Vrij Lays this back to Sal again. Can he get this into Mbappe? He can. Mbappe turns. Great turn. Shoots. Oh. How has he held that? How has he managed to hold on to that? That is ridiculous. It's a bit scrappy at the moment. Not flowing as as, as I'd like it to flow. Um, so it's a bit scrappy. It's a good ball in. Mbappe with the head. Hurideki again. Saving. Okay. I haven't got um, Van Dijk sort of in the middle where I'd like him. But he's Williams is coming in, but can't get there. Johnny Evans does get there. And here's Penar uh, Penarada. I can never get his name. Here's Gutierrez now. Not the Gutierrez from Newcastle. Oh, De Vrij doing really well. And now is a chance for Inaki Williams. Can he get the ball? Oh, no. That was not how I wanted it. I wanted Griezmann to pull back. He come forward. And by the time he'd done that, I'd already played the cross. Lay this off to Sal. Williams now. Can he turn? He can. Can he get the ball across? It's a good ball across. It's a great ball. It's Kylian Mbappe. Great ball across from Williams. Mbappe read it. I could see him coming from the edge of the box as soon as like he went to the byline here. And he just manages to muscle out Jakob and head this in. 
bit of delayed reaction. Johnny Evans taking out the keeper there. I mean, the keeper's been pretty good up to now, um, but Mbappe goes up to six Premier League goals. Chasing down Pierre Aubameyang, his teammate, for that golden boot at the end of the season at the moment. Knock it off him, Penarada again. Here's Jakob. Come on, Cater, get back. Come on, good shot, good save. Wow. Oh, it went through the legs of um, De Vry, but Horn still was able to, to save that. Corner for West Brom. Barella in with it. Good header from De Vry. Should be Mbappe's ball, and he's trying to get away from Teagel, but not able to, because Teagel suddenly found masses of pace there to get that away. Uh, that was weird. Uh, very scrappy first half, I'd say. I mean, we've got the goal. Um, but yeah... Uh, a scrappy first half. Uh, I want to just um, say thanks again, you know, comments, things like that, guys. Um, I really do appreciate it. I really do. Um, it's it's really good to, to, to hear from you guys and, and obviously hear how your games are going on as well. Like, you know what I mean? That's awesome to hear that. But as you can see, we're in pretty much control. I mean, we've got more of the possession. We've got more of the shots. So, yeah, you, you know, we should be maybe winning by more, but we're not, unfortunately. But hopefully second half we'll um, capitalise on that. But West Brom, uh, you know, they're not a walkover at the moment. They are being very sort of scrappy in, in, in the game. But anyway, come on, Savage. Oh, he needs a reactions. needs to be a little bit quicker. Gutierrez. Oh, great tackle from Keita. Here we go. Pulisic now. It's gone into Mbappe. It's a great ball across. It's a chance for Savic. And it's number two. And then he's put it wide. Oh, his head is in his hands and mine. Oh, my God. He went initially. Good save again from Hirodeki. He was having a, a great game, to be fair, apart from the conceding that one goal. And then falls to Savic again. And he puts it wide. Williams now, not the best ball in again. Williams not having the best of games. But there we go. So, not the most exciting match um, to start this episode. Not like, obviously, the last one, but it's a 1-0 result. It's three points. It's a clean sheet. They're the positives we can take. But that man there, Mr. Hurodeki, definitely kept us out um, a lot more than what I was expecting. But as you can see, um, yeah, eight of the shots on target. Um, only one goal, though. Not good. Bappi gets the man of the match. All right, so Monaco in the Champions League is up next. Well, there we go. Um, Mr. De Vrij, as you can see, is saying now he's much happier now he's had a run in the team. Okay, um, I don't know. That's just a weird one, I suppose. Um... He's played just the same games as what he normally be playing. But anyway, um, Monaco, yes, that's who we are now playing in the Champions League. Okay, so this is the side um, that is up against Monaco. Uh, I'll actually give him Barco. Uh, he's not had a game for a while. So uh, I'm going to give him a run out. Just, I, it's, it's so difficult now that I've got quite a big squad, but they're all pretty good players and they're all going to want to play. And it's only 11 that you can pick, you know what I mean? So it's so difficult... Um, to, to be able to do it and sometimes you actually like it when you get injuries because then you it easily fixes that problem but when everyone's fit it's a different matter so yeah um, I'm sure they'll all start moaning in soon so that's why again Goretzka is in Savage is in um, you know these Jonathan Tars you know this is why I've made these changes like really just to try and keep all the players as best happy you know what I mean because it, that becomes a difficult situation. But anyway, um, we are up against um, Monaco. Um, I don't know how this one will go, actually, to be fair. But we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. I'm sure, I should have checked, but I'm sure this ended 2-2 at Anfield when we played them, when I thought I, I had the game in the, in, in the bag and it just went away from me. Well, Goretzka's just been bundled over and the ref thought that was a fair challenge. I don't... How about that? It's a good ball in. Horn has not come for that. Why has he not come for that? Why has Timo Horn not gone for that? 
it's just a lofted ball in. There was no one there. He, he could have just took it out of the air and he just let it go over his head. Trent Alexander-Arnold was beaten um, on the far post. It was headed back and then Jovetic nestles it in. Well, that was not good from us. What Holm was doing there, I don't know. But I think that was my error, maybe thinking he's going to come for it. I should have just... I don't know. That's a bit weird, but yeah. Oh well, one nil down. Okay, here's Mbappe. Try and drop the shoulder, but not able to. Now into Savic. Can he get the ball across? Ah. Okay, the, the keeper came and there was just no one waiting for that. We, we should have been in on that. They they nearly made an error as well then. We didn't sort that out. Damn it. Savic again. It's a little ball for. Oh, it's fell to Salah. Oh. It actually, I was trying to get it through to Mbappe, but it actually fell um, to Mo Salah and the deflection just took it wide. Okay, corner ball now. Gretzka with it. Good chance. I thought, I thought Savage was pushed over them. Maybe I'm just looking for things now because we're losing. There's a chance for, for Barco. Oh, he ran into... I offer... Damn it. Oh, that's a bad mistake. That's, that's a penalty. What on earth was going on there? That was a bad mistake from the keeper. He kicked it straight to Barco. Barco tried to muscle Savic off and then Savic just caught his shooting leg as he went down. Um, so it's it's a soft penalty, but it is a penalty. So I've, even though I've got Aubameyang on, I've given it to Mbappe just because of that poor penalty that Aubameyang attempted um, last time. So hopefully Mbappe. Ah, damn it. Didn't get enough power behind it. Keeper saved it, so... And then I couldn't even get in the rebound. Here's Keita Balde. I can't blame the players. It's all down to me. Oh, Mbappe, great turn. Try too much. Aubameyang. Yes, what a finish. What a finish. Oh, chances come. This time I've like managed to bury it. Mbappe was here. Good chance here. Blocked. Came back to Aubameyang, and he just fizzes this. Right in the bottom corner, past the defender and the keeper. Great finish from him. Diacabi, I should say. Diacabi? Who the fuck is he? Oh, was a chance. Horn! Oh, what are you playing at, Horn? Come on, don't have one of those games. All right, Stefan de Vrij, going to fizz this out to, to um, Andy Robertson. No, I nearly said Will Robinson, but that's from, like, you know... What the hell was that from? Lost, some, lost in space or something. Parco now. Okay, well, it was a draw at Anfield, and at the moment, it's a draw here in Monaco, which is not good. Simo Werner now. Here is Griezmann. Again, like I say, causes teams problems down this right side. And that's a penalty. It's another penalty. Wow, like I say, Griezmann causes problems, and his quick feet uh, has got us another penalty. Now, we've already missed one. So, do I keep Mbappe, or do I change it? Let me see. We'll keep with, we'll keep with Mbappe. See if he can score against his old side. This time he does. Goes a different way. And he's celebrating. Well, didn't expect him to celebrate, but he is. He's celebrating. Nice one. We are 2-1 up. This time he gets it. Keeper didn't move. Went the other way this time. Well, I am surprised he celebrated because most, I think, on I've seen it before, when, but he obviously felt he was happier at Liverpool than he is at Monaco and felt that he, you know, sod it, I'm going to celebrate this. Cuts back inside, Mbappe. That referee is causing me no end of problems because I'm thinking he's one of my players. It's bloody stupid. He's got pretty much the same colour shorts and top and it's just, when you, like, quickly glance, it just catches your eye and it's wrong you know and I should be looking for a, a name obviously above his head but you know when you're playing you sometimes don't look at that there we go it's a 2-1 away victory it's always good to get it's close but and it was tough but I think I made more 
work for myself. Um, but a couple of penalties in here. One of them we didn't convert and one that we did. Uh, so, yeah, I think if I had maybe taken Mbappe off it, he might have dropped his confidence. So I thought I'd give him his chance to rectify it. And I haven't got, like, the only penalty taker I think I have got is Alaba that's maybe in the 80s or something. But I haven't got that many players in my side that are good at taking penalties. Monaco only had one shot on target, which he ended up in the back of the net. Well, I thought they had a few more than that, actually. But anyway, um, it's a win, and that's what counts. And Mbappe picks up another man of the match, as you can see. But anyway, guys, it's Brighton up next. Well, as you can see, see Mr. De Bruyne now wants a rest. Um, yeah, I want to play all the time, boss. I'm not happy. Big on the happy smile. I put him in for a few games. Thanks for playing me so well. Like, oh, no, I'm, I'm knackered. I don't want to play anymore. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I can't keep you happy, can I, mate? But, so I have dropped you um, for this game. But if you then suddenly turn around and say, I want to play every match, it's like, what? Right, so here is the side without Mr. De Vrij. Van Dijk is back in as captain. Um, I've brought in Gross, uh, give Alexander-Arnold a bit of a rest. Played a few games, don't want him getting injured or, or tired or anything like that because with Pereira being out. You know, Alaba's back, Upamecano is going to partner um, Van Dijk um, at the back. And then we've got Sal Keita Correa in, um, in the cam. And then we've got Williams and Mane either side of Aubameyang. So let's see how we get on against um, Brighton. Uh, have they got a Grobe or a Gross as well, by the looks of it? Lerma? Aubameyang? Oof. Nearly caught him out there, but he's gone down holding his knee. But he's got straight back up, so that's okay. Williams now. So we've got a sun on one side, a bit of shadow over down on this side. So that could cause a few issues. No, I think it should be alright. Here's Alaba in to Correa. Can he get this ball through to Mane? Oh. Let's go clearance from Brighton. Dunk straight there. Here's Gross. It is another Gross. We've got two Grosses playing today. It's kind of um, gross today, is it? Uh, you know. Or it could be uh, oh, Gross, is it? You're doing your tax returns and what's your Gross pay? It's a good ball in. Again, Horn is not coming for these crosses. He's sort of staying back and I don't know what he's playing at. Uh, I'm expecting him to come and get these and he's not doing it. Should get Mane in here. Oh, nicely done from Mane. Ah! Oh. What? How did, I don't even understand that, how he got a foot to that, because unless he's got size fucking 15 feet, I don't know. Good chance in. Oh, knockout was there. Can we keep this in? Can. It's Mane. Gross now, going for this far side. It's Alaba. Ah! Oh. What am I doing? I don't know why I hit that, I just trying to look for a dreamy type goal and it shouldn't have done it. Not when you're like nil nil. Brighton are just getting every single ball in the in, when it goes into that box. I, they're just defending so well. It's nil nil at half time. And yeah. Struggling to, to break these guys down. Cater now. Uh, and to Mane who's got a little injury thing on him. Don't know when he's picked that up. Uh, here's Alaba. Find Sal. He's going to try and hit this. Straight down the throat. The Brighton, have they got just like the most awesomely high defenders? You know, really tall ones. Oh, Griezmann's done really well here. And it's still Griezmann. Can he pick someone out? Oh, my God. He tried to pick Williams out, but for some reason, he, I don't know, just didn't take the shot. Correa, you find Aubameyang, you can, but he's surrounded. Griezmann, great turn. Can he find someone? He can. Correa, yes. Angel Correa steps up. Griezmann has made the difference. Just that little turn was was what did it. Little trickery of the turn, gets past the defender, gets him into space, gets to the byline, pulls this back, and oh, Tim Krul got a foot to this as well. He'll be like, got it. 
Just couldn't get enough of a foot to it, but nice to see him score him. Williams, at the moment, is going to get dropped from this side if he continues to play like he is, because at the moment he's not playing the best football that I know he can. And then he'll start whinging, saying, why am I getting played? Because you're bloody crap, mate, at the moment. Compared to my other players, that's a great chance. I'm too busy talking about Williams and thinking about what I'm going to do. Instead of, and Gross is now going to make way, and Baldock's going to come on. I need to stop doing that. I go into this mind thing of, like, thinking, right, if I move that player there, and I move this player there, and I'm in the middle of a game, what am I doing? You know what I mean? It's like... Do those tactic shit another day. Okay, Kata. Here's Gross. Nicely done. Nice ball, Correa. Oh, Abamian, can he turn? He can. Can he get this? Great. Ooh, that, it was just that turn. That turn. Um, just beating the defender. Again, another turn is just able to do it. Great ball in from, from Correa. And then Aubameyang was just able to take it into it and then just, if you watch here, takes it to him, pulls the defender, goes the other way, and then gives the eyes and, and tucks it away the other side. And Tim Cruel is then in no man's land. Oh, crap. It's gone past me. Nice one. 2-0. Tough getting there, but we've we've got there in the end. Can he get a ball in? Can't. It's Quiradero as just... Blocked at that because he seems to be everywhere. That player. Here's Cater. Here's Gross. Gone for the ball across to Williams. Can he head this down? He can, but not in the right direction. <sighs> Bulldog now. Here's Knockhart. Here's Bulldog. Gross. Great challenge. Uh, Layman with a little back heel. Sal now. It's all full, it's full time. I wondered then what the hell the whistle was for. It's full time. It's 2-0, guys. Yes. Brighton were definitely very, very physical. Um, pushing me off the ball a lot in that, especially that first half and stuff. And it's took me a while to, to eventually break the deadlock. But I broke it with two good goals, two nice turns. Yeah. Um, well done to Angel Correa. He's got man of the match for scoring and setting up. So he'll be probably now saying, oh, he's playing me every game. <laughs> uh, thank you for giving me the time I needed. I feel refreshed and I'm ready to come back for the next game. Uh, yeah, these players are just, sometimes they're just a bit bizarre, aren't they? Um, oh, player injured. Oh, it's Mane. It, only five days, okay. <laughs> it's not seven months. It's just a bruised elbow, that's fine. Um, it just gives me a I mean, he would have been rested for this match anyway, but he's out for five days. That's okay. Looks like Sm S Smolov, yes, Fedor Smolov and his agent have agreed personal terms with Leicester. So he will be leaving the club. He's done really well for us um, when I brought him in. Uh, but he's going to be leaving to apply his trade at Leicester uh, when the January transfer window opens up. So, um, and Shea Adams wants to know if, he wants, if he's going to get a run out. Yes, you are. Probably. Anyway, right. Okay, final game of today's episode. And it is the Carabao Cup quarter final against Arsenal. Now we know how tough it was against Chelsea. I have made a couple of bigger changes, as in De Vrij's come back, just because I want to keep him happy. And I've got Timo Werner up front, but Shea Adams is on the bench. The only reason behind that is I'm trying to keep Werner... Aubameyang and Pape Griezmann, all those players kind of, you know, got to try and keep them happy. So technically Werner is second string in a way, um, but uh, yeah, that's the reason why that, that is how it is. Just in case you're going, oh, hold on a minute, you're playing some of the bigger players in there and you shouldn't do it. Well, yeah, but I've got to try and keep them happy. Woodburn, I'm actually going to play in the cam role rather than Barco but I can obviously switch them if I need to. I just thought that Barker played a little bit better when I had him in the other game against... Uh, who did we play? Uh, was it West Brom that he played or was it Monaco? I can't think now. I think it was... I can't remember. Whichever game... <laughs> I can't remember. West Brom or Monaco, whichever game... He played really well on that on that side, so that's the reason why I've put him there. But anyway, guys, <laughs> we are up against um, Arsenal at Anfield, so let's get going. 
Barco's come across to help out. Barco sort of got the ball, but then it fell nicely back to Ballerin. Here's El Nenny. He cut this inside. When Jose is a chance for Campbell. It's Lafont with the save, and then Campbell with the. Why on earth did Trent Alexander Arnold not jump for that header? Oh, and Arsenal will take the lead. Okay. The first shot comes in, Lafont does well. There, it comes up, and he's just not. It's again, I'm pressing, and the game is like saying, you're not going to jump for this. It was like when I played Manchester United and Alaba didn't jump. I'm pressing for him to jump for that, to get ahead on it, to at least put the player off or something, even if you don't necessarily get it, and he just doesn't. But Campbell here is causing me problems, and he's got through again, and it's number two. Oh, Lafont with an amazing save. So glad he's around about 84 rated now. Kolasinac there, but Lafont, he's going to want to be our number one keeper at some point. I can see it coming. It's come in here. Woodburn to get this away. Uh, okay, Timo Werner, come on. We've got 99 pace. 99, but I'm getting caught. What is the point in having that in the game? Why, why have him, like, at 99... Acceleration, 99, pace, whatever. If other players like Hugo Mallow can just be quicker than him. What, what are they on? 110. Right. Barco's going to lift this one in. Gone for the far side. Socrates is there. Socrates is there. William Jose. Come on. I need to be a bit more clinical with the way things are going here. Um like I was against Chelsea, otherwise we're going to go out of this competition. Cup games are much harder. On legendary mode is a chance, Lafont. If it weren't for Lafont, we'd be 4-0 down by now. So we're 1-0 down at half-time. But I know I can get back into this. Um, they're not as strong as Chelsea. But I've just got to be better. I've just got to be better. That's it. Simple as that. Cousins like flicks this in. Farman now. Can Cousins get there? He can. It's fallen to Ben Woodburn. Oh my god, what a save. Oh, what? It's come off sort of the back of Kolasinic's shoulder and Farman's leg or whatever. Can Woodburn get this forward to Barco? He can. Barco surging forward. Turns inside nicely. Barco, great ball chance. Goretzka. Fucking get in. He's only just walked on the field. Literally. That's his first touch, I think. Possibly maybe had one in midfield in the middle of that that build-up. But Barco coming in from the left. Um, not even, yeah, he was coming in from the left, even though... Yeah, that's weird. I've just realised that. Barco actually came in from the left, even though I put him in the camera position now. And it's a great ball in. Um, lovely turn here. Flicks it in and bang. Gretzka waiting for it to come across his body and smack. And we are back in this. Nice. Well done. Okay, I said Shea Adams wasn't going to get a go, but he is. I'm going to bring him on in place of Ben Woodburn. Don't worry, he's not going to play on the left. He's going to go up front. I'm going to drop Werner in behind him because Werner's got the pace, so if he needs to go past him, he can do. And then I've gone and put Barco back on the left again because that's where we got the goal from. So, yeah. Changing my mind each time. Right, Ryan Sessegnon now. Werner. Ah! Shea Adams is there. Can you find Barco? Can. Barco. Ah! Oh, it's a mess in there. Absolute mess. Farman. But referee is blown for full time instead of giving us the corner. Um, so we've got extra time, is it? I think it is. Yeah, it's extra time. I've got no more changes to make. This is not good. But we've got extra time, guys. Here we go. Here's Mustafi. Bellerin. Bellerin is surging away here. How oh, the friggin' hell has he still got that much pace? Oh, God. Are you kidding me? How is, like, Bellerin still able to, like, just friggin', like, motor down here? I can't catch him. 
What a ball in. What a ball. Jesus, that's a hell of a ball. Okay. Like I said, it's just um, put Arsenal... After all that comeback, we are now back again to having to come back. Sessegnon into Barco. It's got in behind. It's going to come back. Find the pass. Chance. Goretzka. He scored a great goal and then he had a chance to get his second and he just sliced it. Damn it. Oh, damn it. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, and now he's down injured. So, like, my player's down injured, but it wasn't a foul, ref. Okay. And it's Ramsey again. I mean, this is just ridiculous. And they are just literally not let... Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, this is just ridiculous. This is just crappy EA crap that they throw into the game. Penalty. I mean, are you kidding me? How is that a penalty? Come on, Lafont. Save this fucker. Ah. Uh, went the right way. Just couldn't get down quick enough. Nakazek gets his second. And we've got to hope for a miracle. Jeez. It's passed him before he even knew it. Gretzka now. Werner. Can't get away. This is all over. Got no chance of getting two goals now. Got no chance of getting one goal. What a way to end it after our exploits against Chelsea. The font gets ahead. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, is it the bar? Oh, my God. Offside. Oh, this is just getting embarrassing now. What is Lafont doing there? And then they hit that and they hit the bar. Like, Jesus. Just didn't do it in, in the end of the day. I mean, I mean, Arsenal, you can't say, um, didn't score like freaky goals or anything like that you know I mean it was just the game just made it so that it's so hard to get the ball off them do you know what I mean and, and the people that play FIFA know exactly what I'm talking about it's just you're pressing tackle all day long um, and they will just be so massively strong you'll have players that aren't really fast but they will basically be able to keep up with you you will um their first goal where it was headed in and Trent Alexander-Arnold didn't jump, you know, I mean, there's things like that and you just, you could analyse it all day long. It's a cup competition that is probably the least of the ones that we, we, we were hoping to win, um, but unfortunately it means we can't get all four this season. Yeah, whether that season will come, I don't know. Uh, yeah, just seem to fall at one of these tournaments don't I but look at that 13 shots 11 on target and we're out yeah they had five on target um okay yeah but anyway it's a sad ending to the episode and um, it's not been the best episode with regards to, to goals and stuff it's been a tough episode. I definitely agree on that one. Um, I don't know who I'm agreeing with myself, obviously. <laughs> That's weird. But anyway, guys, I hope you still um, will give the video a like, um, even though it's not been the best. Um, I hope um, you have a good week. And yes, I will catch you on Wednesday for the next round of Grimsbyness. Yes, it's Grimsby time again on Wednesday. So um, take it easy, guys. Um, thanks so much for tuning in. As always, give it a like, please, if you don't mind. If you're new, please go ahead and subscribe. You know the drill. Um, and I will catch you on the next video, guys. It's Dave from Moomonger Gaming, signing off. Cheers.